So essentially we have um, a microcapsule. Obviously this is not micro, this is a macro capsule. So it, uh, this is about the size of a golf ball. But the actual microcapsule is about uh, the thickness of human hair. Within these capsules we have white and black particles and these particles are charged. This is the exact same material that's used in paper and ink to make paper white and make ink black. So we're not using any exotic materials, we're using the same materials that's used in paper and uh, ink to replace paper and ink. Um, and these charged particles, when you apply a voltage across, we can cause the white or the black particles to rise to the surface. And when you look at it from above, you'll see a white or black dot. And we have millions of these dots on each display. That's what causes uh, the white and black um, display to be formed. So we make these particles here in the state of Massachusetts in uh, town of South Hadley. And uh, we coat them on sheets of plastic, which are a few feet wide and we can go a mile long if we so, uh, so desired. And then we export that to e-inks factory in China. And uh, in the factory, we cut the um, uh, rolls into uh, diagonal sizes depending on the customer's um, specific project. So in this particular case, I've got a six inch diagonal display, which is one of the most popular configurations for e-readers. This is what we actually ship. Uh, and this is micro capsule coated sheet of plastic. When, uh, when we receive it in the factory, we actually peel off the uh, protective layer and you can see the micro capsule layer. It's got a little bit of adhesive. And we laminate this on a sheet of thin glass and we call it in our industry TFT glass, which is thin film transistor glass. Um, essentially, it's the same thing that's used in the LCD industry. You can see it's very thin. It's uh, less than a millimeter uh, thin. And we have a layer of uh, thin film transistors and we laminate this sheet of um, a micro capsule coated uh, layer on top of the, um, uh, on the TFT glass. And on the TFT glass, we've got row and column drivers that can individually address specific pixels. Each pixel has a lot of these micro capsules underneath to giving a lot of resolution. Recently, we improved the uh, resolution of the bottom glass, we went from a 167 dots per inch uh, device to a 212 uh, dots per inch uh, resolution. That's why our customers are now able to produce products with much higher resolution. One of the other sheets that we apply on top, we don't talk about this a whole lot, uh, is um, uh, what we call protective sheet, and this has several layers of material on it. Um, it uh, helps protect the display from uh, accidentally, if somebody's got long fingernails, and um, uh, these uh, microcapsules are still squishy. We don't want anybody bursting these, so it protects uh, against that. Particularly when you use touch screens and things like that, you're deliberately touching the display and you can protect. And it also protects against UV, moisture, so on and so forth. And we've made improvements on all of these materials uh, to enhance and make the displays much better. That's why you see every uh, other year our products get uh, consistently better. The, the moisture protection, uh, I can pour water on my e-reader and it won't get harmed? The display itself cannot get harmed when you uh, pour water, but unfortunately the rest of the electronics in your assembly will indeed be damaged, so you don't want to pour water on your <laughs> device. It's not wa quite waterproof yet. Okay. Um, and then um, other than this, we also supply software to our customers, mm -hmm. pretty much with all of our displays, and the software allows for the page turns. So when customers achieve faster page turns is because of the software that we have developed. We have a suite of software and the customers picks and chooses what kind of software they use. Um, more recently we made changes in our gray level to gray level transition. From black to white or black to white to black we are able to transition in about 250 milliseconds. From gray to gray it used to take a 600 milliseconds. Recently we've been able to do that at 450 uh, milliseconds. So getting a, about 25% um, improvement. That's why you see page turns on number of e-readers getting faster. And um, you can also do animation with that and so on. Yeah, so how does it, I've noticed in some of the recent e-readers, um, you, you go five pages with a different transition and then there's sort of a, a black burst. Correct. What's happening Correct. there? So essentially, within the microcapsule, we need to allow 250 milliseconds for the particles to go from top to bottom or vice versa. But uh, after about 70 milliseconds, you can see the image. So you can switch these particles after 70 milliseconds, but you can play that game only for so, so many times, so many refreshes. After that, you get to tell everybody to go back to their place and start this dance all over again. That's why you see that see. Uh, refresh. Um, we are in the process of, we announced another product coming out um, uh, next year where we will make it even faster. 
Um, so we are constantly improving the performance of our display, not just in the materials or the chemistry of these microcapsules, but also in the software that we build.